everyone welcome to pfold tutorial and you are watching the video series of how to create a bookshop management in visual c++ and in this video i'm going to show you how to generate the aesthetic for password input as i showed as i showed you in previous video when we entering a password here uh, so it's showing you know the whatever the letters we entered so it is displaying so it's it is a uh, you know the threat for the security so we should uh, make this one as a aesthetic so for that uh, we are going to create a function so in this function uh, we need to include uh, one more header for this that is called as a window edge so I'm going to include that one now okay, include window H and make sure you the W is capital and you need to put dot H here okay so so I'm going to create this function uh, above main, main function because this is a small function uh, so then not small but uh, it's an uh, additional function so so I don't need to prototype calling again so if it is above the main function so for that uh, I'm going to create that about the main function so before that I will uh, I'm going to give the description name for that password asterisk generator or something okay okay it's, uh, st it's a string function so because it's going to be the return a string so I give up the string I create as a string function and it's it will contain a constraint character constant character and uh, one boolean as a parameters so so asterisk equal true okay so this is a constant character uh, and this is the boolean so these two parameters are uh, there so we can pass through the password with the true true value for the so asterisk so it will show as a so the asterisk while we entering the password so we need to open the function here okay constant character backspace okay so this is the backspace means so you need to when when you entering the backspace so it should hide the asterisk so for that we have created this variable backspace so you can give your own name so i have given the maximum limit for the password is eight so you can uh, very define as much as you want okay so the constant character again the return okay 13 okay 13 is a maximum value which password can be entered so this will uh, return the maximum value of 13 so i'm going to show you how to enter this one string password and unsigned character is equal to zero okay so this string password is a input uh, user input so this will be a user input and this unsigned character is, is it will take the each uh, password uh, character as a single character so for that I have uh, defined this variable and I'm going to see out now prompt okay so it means it will go back to the next one so the word so this is the window header function uh, DW right read so it's console mode so D word means the co for console mode to activate the console mode so this is the command and it's a read only function so that's why it's a DW read and handle this HIN it's a window key for the this uh, ST handle this input handler so uh, because this handle hih in means handle input so this handle input will uh, handle the you know handle means it's, it takes the control on the user input ok 
okay so get console mode so again it's a console mode it's a chai n and console mode is a part those are the parameter the predefined library these are the this is the predefined library so we are giving these two as a parameter okay set console mode again I'm giving these parameters for the one more pre predefined uh, function of the uh, window header so enable echo input enable line input so these are the two parameters it will take so either this or this all right okay now while read console and character is one and dw read is a null and then character is not equal to return so i'm going to i have created a loop here to read through each and every password to uh, to convert as a you know asterisk so if character is backspace if if it is they press the best backspace by the user so if password dot length so if password uh, is not length mean uh, not equal to zero mean is there is they have user have some had entered something so the input is not zero so they have entered something and when while well, when they want to delete it so this function will uh, activate it and here I'm going to give hold on a minute show aesthetic so see out here it will take the backspace so show aesthetic uh, will will be removed from the screen so why when they enter the backspace so it will password resize password length minus one so if for each and every backspace the password length will reduce by minus one so it is the internal work going on behind the uh, you know display so it won't show the uh, password on the screen so the all the process going on behind so at the back end so when they when the user enter the backspace so it will uh, redu re it will erase one aesthetic at the front end and it will erase one letter from the back end the, the actual password so that is the code for this one this is the reason for these codes or else so this is the else condition for this if statement okay I'm going to give password is equal to plus equal character means there is if if, if the user not entering the backspace mean when, when they are typing something so it will keep increasing the character this character is the aesthetic which we're going to assign now so as I if show asterisk is a true then here so this is the asterisk sign here we are going giving so if you want to give some other uh, you know symbols you can uh, give your own so I use a asterisk here okay see out and and return password so this this is returning the password sorry um, here it is returning the password as a string so this is the string function so it's returning a string so we need to call this function the inside the main function to make it as a uh, you know aesthetic input Okay, here you come to the login username password calling function so you need to call this function nearby here so before that one you need to call this ok 
okay password is equal to get password so get pass is the function name here name name of this function we have created so here it is okay oh excuse me all right okay. where is that ah here it is okay so that is the password uh, generator okay i'm going to call that function now please enter the password uh, that is the you know display but we need to remove the previous uh, password entry so i will show you sorry okay so here and now we don't need this one because uh, so this display will uh, this uh, you know print message is already given here so we don't need to repeat that one and the input also uh, will happen inside that function so we didn't we don't need an input there again so we I am going to save this one now and I, I have already saved this one so this time I use the uh, user uh, sorry file name as a main two okay and let us compile this one check the how it's working okay uh, all right so exit this one and cl main 2 dot cpp and main 2 uh, it's compiling now hold on a minute okay so here you enter main 2 it has to show the menu now all right now it is showing the menu and now we will try to log in the admin login so admin one and the password is a p1 okay here it, it it doesn't show the password now see even you type anything so it is only the study so it's a good way to input the password so it is a secure way so that no one can track the password uh, while they are while you enter the password even though they are watching you so let's enter okay here it's showing successfully logged in so this function works properly so the now I'm next video I'm going to show you how to create the staff login it is the same uh, algorithm which we use to admin login so i i will do that one in in very fast uh, you know i'm not going to explain each and everything so i will do it very faster so if anybody don't want to see that again so they can skip that uh, next video so if somebody want to look at that uh, again so they can watch it okay thank you very much take care bye bye